I walk my dogs every morning here. It's part of our, our life. I've been doing it for 10 years and you know, we've gradually seen all the forest and being chopped out. And when I arrived here in the morning, seven o'clock, it was everything as normal. And while I was walking around with my dogs, I suddenly saw this military operation happening around me where the roads were all being blocked, signs were being put up. And I realized that sand parks were now going against their word and they were going to start felling the trees in this area. I was in there with my dog and I decided I'm gonna stay. We needed to take a stand, otherwise we're gonna lose what we've got left. I received a call um, during the course of the afternoon to say that there was a, a group of angry dog walkers standing at the ribbon gate of Lower Forest and they felt they needed my support. The city manager assured me that this was outside of city jurisdiction. It was Sand Park's land and a contractor who was felling trees for timber and that there in fact was, was no role for the city to play. That the only way that the logging could be stopped, which appeared to be what the citizens required, was that there was going to have to be a legal process that, that would involve possibly an interdict. The tussle at this point is between community interest and Sand Park's interest. The group known as Parkscape very effectively and very efficiently are driving the public effort. Parkscape are um, a community uh based organization. We have been trying to engage with Sand Parks for the last four months to find out what their plans are for Lower Takai Forest. There was no warning. So that's why Clive King was in the forest on Tuesday morning because a lot of people walk here before work and they closed the forest at quarter to eight. This whole storm started. We decided we would have to get legal advice. We would need funds and that's when we started fundraising in the community came to our attention, or came to my attention, that the subcontractor who was actively felling the trees had been instructed to work throughout the night. That was in direct violation of the City of Cape Town bylaws governing noise, nuisance, etc. I then called law enforcement in to stop the work that was happening overnight. For us, we, it's not about the trees, it's about shaded recreation and biodiversity and a combination and a compromise of the two. As we know this is a plantation, we know that it has to go. We cannot um, accept that it has to be complete fan boss because it brings fire and crime right to the urban edge and sand parks have not given us any idea what their plan is to deal with the fire and the safety for the urban edge. This isn't, this isn't a wild park like the Kruger Park. This is a buffer zone. It's a park that, that is on the urban edge and sand parks need to take into account that these houses are right here and crime and fire will be brought right here. I've been using the forest for the last 22 years. Um, running, hiking mainly, um, dog walking. It's very difficult to find shade under Fane Boss. Um, I challenge anyone who's chopping down trees to come and walk here on a hot day. Bring your little kid, bring your animals, bring your horses, please. You're going to fry. We're not asking for the pines. We know that the pines belong to other people. We know that it was a commercial venture. Sand Park have made so many promises to us. They were not delivered upon. We were snuck up on. I don't know that I can verbalize the disrespect that they've shown towards us. Peaceful nature. Even the animals enjoy this place. The forest, Tukai Forest. <laughs> One beautiful place. I come about four days per week because it's a peaceful nature makes me feel sad and brings anger. To, to my knowledge, there had not been public engagement. There had been a few um, notices dropped into, into the closest adjacent post boxes. Um, but there certainly had been nothing that amounted to anybody in authority 
coming to the residents and saying, for whatever reason, we need to fell now. And residents arrived with their dogs in tow to find the, the park closed off. And being the residents of Takai as they are, they fairly soon made their displeasure heard. And it's one of the joys, in fact, of, of working with a community like the Takai community, is that when there is what is considered a community issue, people band together, they support each other, they support the issue. And that, after all, is what, what we as a, a participative government are looking for. We're, we're looking for active citizens who say, I have ownership of my area, I have pride in my area, I enjoy my area, and I will be part of the decision making about how my area develops or doesn't. The plan now is to um, continue to, to get community support, to continue to raise funds because we don't know what's in front of us. Uh, we just ordinary, the ordinary people who just love this particular area for God knows what reason, but we do, we love it. We'll fight the legal routes as hard as we can and, and do our best for the community.